In this video we are going to take a slightly closer look at my first experience with Russian knife maker Nord Crown. And Nord Crown they produce some you know really really exclusive knives but they also uh, make slightly uh, well not quite as expensive versions of their knives as well. So there is a, a bit of a price range from their uh, cheaper models to the more high-end models. This being one of the more more high-end uh, models. So this is what the box looks like when you get this specific knife, the Sokol aka the Falcon. This is the emblem of the knife maker. That is something I don't know what it says. So let's start by doing a small unboxing. Removing this little uh, well thing. And then we can proceed to open up the actual box itself. No, quite a sturdy box, I'd say. Slowly but surely we are getting there. So uh, yeah, top part of the box. And well, it seemed to go you know straight to business here. Uh, not a lot of stuff going on here. But here is um, the knife in its leather sheath. I would expect there is some paperwork, right? Let's put the knife aside for just a little moment here. And let's see what we get included as well here. So we get some type of uh, uh, certificate of authenticity here. Uh, looking like this. Uh, I would have expected, you know, some, well, signing of it, uh, to be completely honest. Uh, well, oh, there's actually some English here as well. Product warranty. Uh, date of manufacture, but there is no date specified. Well, uh, regardless, this is the certificate of authenticity, and here we get a card with uh, with the specifications, etc. Looks like this. So a a little bit of uh, paperwork and a little bit of wrapping. Uh, not the most, you know, uh, complicated uh, box. Uh, Although a, a nice uh, packaging, I will say. Yeah. So, on to the knife itself. The knife comes in a, well, semi-standard leather sheath, I guess we could call it. It is, you know, fairly sturdy, durable, thick. Uh, nice even stitching, no markings or anything on the back part of the sheath, but on the front part there is the mark here of uh, Nord Crown stamped into it. It comes with a um, non-attachable uh, belt loop here and a um, what's this called? A snap, pull snap or something like that, uh, and the knife is feels secure in its sheath. I also like, you know, this is the, the Falcon, the Sokol, there's a lot of, we're gonna go into all the details uh, shortly, uh, but you know, the feathers and the, the you know, the living organic uh, part of it uh, shoves nicely here with the sheath. Uh, this part in particular, how this sort of feather guard, uh, you know, how it goes into the, to the sheath quite nicely. Might be kind of tricky to see and I'm not the best at uh, explaining it. But all in all I think the, the sheath is, uh, while it's not you know something super extraordinary, uh, it's still you know, it's, it's a good looking sheath. I'm happy it was black, I mean I could have dyed it myself if I had to. But you know, it, it is, it's a nice, in my opinion, you know, quality sheath. 
Some might want to do a custom sheath for an arc like this, but I, I will go with this one. Uh, that much I can say. So let's unsheath this knife now, shall we? So I'm gonna put the sheath away here, and then we can try to get some uh, nice looks here. Yeah, I mean, I already did not just a first glance, but also a second glance uh, at this knife, starting the video off, so you guys know what this knife looks like. Uh, and that it is quite, quite an exceptional looking knife, with some really, really nice details. But before we go into all the details, let's uh, go through the, the specs here, shall we? So, let's put the knife like this, I think. Uh, the knife is uh, uh, 290 millimeters in overall length. So this is not, you know, a small knife. I would say it's a you know, medium to large, well, medium knife perhaps, depending on your own preferences. We have a blade length of 165 millimeters. Quite a bit of cutting length. We have a blade thickness of, let's see, uh, six millimeters. So this is a stout blade, you know, it's, it's got, you know, some, some heft to it as well. Uh, I think the weight of this knife should be around 310 grams. So, I mean, if that's a lot or not for the size, that's uh, once again up to your own preferences. Uh, the handle is of uh, ebony wood, quite dark, uh, I'm not sure how well it transfers uh, to the video here, but it is a, a darker tone ebony, and it's got this smooth, nice surface here, but it also got this very interesting texture uh, going on here and I'm not sure if we can you know how well it translates to the video but quite an interesting you know feel to it and I feel like it's part to you know the design here with the falcon and the falcon head here uh, we're gonna go into details here as well very nicely handcrafted by some of the best uh, craftsmen uh, in in Russia so head and this is you know the the well the, should we say belly of the <laughs> of the uh, the falcon and this going you know for wings so i mean it's it got there is a, a theme going on here if i put it uh, like that uh we got a bit of a or a bit we got a drop point design we got quite a recurve on the blade as well uh, this is, I think, specified as a hunting knife, but I would say that it would probably do well as a, a fighting knife of sorts. Uh, not that I'm going to put it to, to any, you know, knife fights or perhaps any use at all, to be completely honest. Although I really do like to use all of my, my knives, as some of you know. There are also some very interesting uh, grind lines going on here. Uh, this sort of, you know, fuller-like or dual fullers. Let's put it like this so we can see uh, starting like you know two fullers going into to one of sorts uh, all the way to the the tip we also got some interesting grinds up here at the spine as well so we got a full spine thickness here and then it goes into a quite a fine swedge grind which goes all the way to uh, to the very tip there are also some nice ornaments and once again a lot of you know uh, feathery curvy you know uh, details here and also some interesting details and textures on the guard the very inside of the guard here has some some nice uh, texturing as well really difficult to to spot on the camera i would imagine and the guard itself, as you can see, uh, got some nice, you know, curves to it as well. There's a lot of things going on with this knife and, and some of the things I didn't even notice until I had, you know, taken some, some close-up photos and realized like, wow, they really, you know, went into to some fine, fine details making this knife. 
The Damascus steel is a proprietary uh, Damascus made by, you know, in-house by Nordcrown themselves. And I've got to say, it's one of the finest, finest Damascus blades I've ever seen. Uh, it really, you know, screams high quality. Uh, some really nice layers. Although I am a bit curious about the exact, you know, composition. Um, but I have no doubt it will be uh, of the very highest quality. That much I can say. I do have some experience with different types of Damascus. And this is, well, like I said, one of the finest types of Damascus that I've seen. So let's take a look here at the back part again here and of the, uh, the bird. I'm gonna, give me one second, I'm gonna put a sheet on so I can easier, you know, place the knife. <laughs> Uh, without risking to uh, hit the, the blade into something. So let's uh, take a real close up here of this falcon's head. It's gonna be hard to, to get all the details here into the video, uh, but I really do like how they you know, sculptured uh, this falcon. It has a very, very nice look to it with some amazingly fine details that are and will be really difficult for me to capture here on camera but just take my word for it when I say that it's something quite quite spectacular spectacular <laughs> so my first impressions is that I am uh, kind of blown away by you know the, the overall look the feel it's a really comfortable knife and uh, you got a good grip I wear size tanning gloves fairly large hands placing the knife like this We've got a lot of room uh, if we were to place our hand down here the the beak here of the the falcon makes you know the knife secure if you were to do some well I'm gonna say it, chopping, but you won't see that in this video that I can guarantee you. But if you wanted to, you could place your hand here and it would be super comfortable. Uh, you can also use the, and this is maybe the weirdest part about a knife, and that is the choil. I mean, it is, it is a strange looking choil, right? I mean, you can't use this area for anything. But once again, it is, you know, the, the overall theme of the knife here. But you can use this as a finger choil, placing the knife like this. Placing your thumb up here, you got just enough space up here to place your thumb on the full, you know, size or full thickness spine here before the swedge starts. So you got a nice thumb placement and nice finger placement for the choil. This will work. It works well and it feels well in my hand. A reverse grip, well, you can of course place the knife in a reverse grip. Uh, for those that you know tend to work with knives in reverse grip, I am definitely not one of them But I mean we might as well, you know, do it for the video uh, the balance point of this knife Pretty much, you know, slightly ahead of the, the guard So well balanced surprisingly light in hand given the you know the blade thickness of almost or well six millimeters so light very ergonomical swift well i, I like swift knives when i'm going with a recurve uh, that much i can say but it is you know it is so beautiful that i have a hard time you know seeing myself putting this knife to to any actual use uh, i have no doubt it would hold up to some use, but mm, uh, it's gonna be, you know, I, I'll have to, you know, get over this initial hype of the knife and then we might see some, some actual use. So this video is more of a, a overview video uh, where I just, you know, give you my, my initial impressions. And my impressions are that this knife is pretty darn amazing in, well, pretty much all aspects. That much I can say. So the Nord Crown, so cool.